Welcome, everybody, to another edition of the NBC Baseball First Pitch here on NBCSports.com and Valley Live. As always, presented by our friends at Rawlings that present the official baseball of the Missouri Valley Conference. And I'm joined again by our NBC Baseball analyst, Shane Dennis. Shane, how are things doing this week? Doing okay. All right. Well, let's jump right into things. Obviously, looking at the standings, Dallas Baptist, the, the newcomer to the league, off to a just absolutely hot start. Uh, what do you make? You, you, what do you make about the Patriots so far in league play? I'm not surprised. And for those that don't know, you're going to find out pretty soon if you didn't already know that Dallas Baptist is a player not only going to be in the Missouri Valley but nationally. Dan Heefner has done a tremendous job since he stepped foot on that campus. And plus, they've made some upgrades and additions to that uh, facility baseball-wise, and it's going to do nothing but get better. What jumps out of, off the page at me is Heefner's ability to mix tremendous hitters with quality arms that can make you swing and miss. And with the fertile recruiting ground down there in Texas, I imagine that big things will continue for them. Uh, five and one in the league so far, and 23 wins at the time of this taping. So they, at this moment, have a very very legitimate shot at an at-large uh, resume, and I think it'd be good enough for the NCAA if the season ended today, even if they didn't win the Valley Tournament. Absolutely. We'll be looking at a couple teams, hopefully, uh, with that potential as we uh, have had some really good RPI numbers for the conference overall uh, as we go forward. So it'll be interesting to see how things turn out. Uh, looking at a couple individual performances, Wichita State's Casey Gillespie, uh, batting 402, 31 uh, RBIs, 8 home runs. Shocker's uh, got a good guy with that doing some real good work with the bat there. Great job. And his uh, patience is really what strikes me, too, because he walks way more than he strikes out. Just looks like a professional hitter up there. And when you make a mistake, he's not just a singles guy. He leads the Missouri Valley in total bases, home runs, slugging, home runs per game, all the, the categories that you'd like. But he also, as you mentioned, leads the league or uh, is up among the top two in average. So he's not just an all or nothing guy. The problem with Wichita State, the problem around him is uh, he didn't come up come up on uh, with runners on base quite often enough, and within this last six-game losing streak that they've had, runners in scoring position, they have been starving for a hit. They've only had like one or two in their last 50-plus uh, times up there with runners in scoring position in which they've actually produced an RBI. It's, it's almost a, a mythical type of slump that the team has suffered. But Casey Gillespie himself, I think, over the last couple of weeks, dating back to a couple of home runs he get a, hit against Cal State Fullerton, probably made himself a little bit more money when it comes to the draft coming up this June. All right. And speaking of another individual, uh, Evansville's Cal Freeland. The guy's 5-1 and one so far, uh, ERA of 2.02. His, his stock's going to be rising, too, as the season's been going on. It's going through the roof. And that, his most recent outing uh, a week or so ago against Charlotte, I think, made him a lot of money, too. He struck out nearly half the guys he faced, 15 out of the 32. His strikeout-to-walk ratio is 60-4. to four. He's low 90s from the left side and occasionally can touch the mid-90s. And when you don't walk anybody and you do that with the frame that he's got, he's probably going to go on the top of the first round. What strikes me, as a couple of scouts have mentioned, that I, even though it's not an apples to apples uh, comparison, he throws more strikes percentage wise than the leaders in Major League Baseball right now. And that includes Cliff Lee and guys like that. And I know he's facing a different caliber, but the fact that he can pound the strike zone with his 90 miles an hour and have a feel for pitching, uh, Kyle Freeland's doing something special up there in Evansville right now. And with those two in mind, obviously we look at the, the schedule for this weekend. Wichita State at Evansville will be interesting to see what happens when uh, Cal Freeland meets up with, uh, uh, with, with the Shockers uh, as they uh, meet in Evansville. Shane, appreciate your insight so much, and we'll look forward to talking to you again soon. Sounds good, Derek. Thank you. All right, this has been the ABC Baseball uh, First Pitch presented by Rawlings. We'll look forward to talking to everybody real soon. Thanks again for joining us.